I have been using the same mouse for over 3 years. Even though it served me well, it was time to get something better. And on my desk setup tour video, I asked you guys for suggestions on which mouse should I get next and most of you recommended this one, the Logitech MX Master 3. So I decided to give it a try. This is by far the most expensive mouse I ever owned. And of course my expectations are quite high. And after using this mouse for quite some time, it's final time for me to tell you what I think. So let's get started. The unboxing experience is simple and straightforward. You get the mouse, of course, the USB receiver, the USB-C cable to charge the mouse, and lastly, the user documentation. Now let's talk about my first impressions about this mouse. Right off the bat, it feels different. Mostly because of the way it is designed, it is completely different compared to the other mouses on the market. I personally think that this mouse looks absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I can point out is that it might take you some time to feel comfortable using it. Now when it comes to the weight, it weighs about 141 grams. This is by no means a light mouse, but it doesn't feel heavy either. And what impressed me the most is the build quality. I wasn't so sure about the materials used on this mouse, but after using it for some time, it holds up pretty well. It doesn't get much dust, which is amazing. My old mouse was basically a dust trap and it was a nightmare to clean as well, so I'm glad I don't have to worry about that anymore. My favorite feature about this mouse is definitely the scrolling wheel. The fact that you can choose different modes based on the task you're doing is amazing. However, I had some issues using the scrolling wheel, which I will talk about just in a bit. But first, let's take a look at all the buttons on this mouse. At the top you have the scrolling wheel or the max speed wheel as they call it. Then you have the mode shift button which allows you to switch between free spinning mode and line by line mode. And on the left side you have the forward and back buttons. Then you have the thumb wheel as well as the gesture button. Now if we turn the mouse around, at the top we have the on and off switch and at the bottom we have the easy switch mode. Now the good thing about this mouse is that you can program these buttons just the way you want by using a software provided by Logitech. Now let's take a look on how I set up mine. Let's start with the forward and back buttons. When I first got this mouse, I find myself not using these buttons as much as I wanted to. But since I decided to assign them to copy and paste, everything changed. Now I find myself using these buttons all the time. Copying and pasting text and files has never been easier. So if you find yourself not using these buttons at all, then I recommend you to change them to copy and paste because it will make your life so much easier. Now the next button I want to talk about is the gesture button. This is also a very powerful button that I think you should take full advantage of. I used to hate the idea of not having the dog showing up on my screen all the time. I just felt like it was the best way to know which apps I had open and also the fastest way to access those apps. But after using the gesture button, I no longer feel the need to have the dog showing up on my screen all the time. So what I did was to assign the gesture button to mission control. And with this I'm able to see all the apps I have open and also have access to the dog. But that's not everything, there is more you can do with this button because it also works as a gesture button which means you are able to have access to 4 new shortcuts using your mouse. So let me show you how I set up mine. When I hold the gesture button and move the mouse up, I'm able to open the launch pad. And when I hold the gesture button and move the mouse down, I can open a new web page. And this will work even if the web browser is closed. Now when I hold the gesture button and move the mouse to the left, I can undo, and if I move it to the right, I can redo. This is a good feature if you find yourself always undoing and redoing things. 
Now, when it comes to the other buttons, I just left them the way they are, because it works fine for me. Now let's talk about performance. This is a productivity mouse, and I'm sure you want to know how it performs in tasks such as programming, music production, video editing, and so on. Let's start with Excel. If you have a big project, you can always take advantage of the free spinning mode to navigate super quickly through your project. And you can also use the horizontal scrolling wheel to check other contents on your project. And if you are like me and you decided to assign the forward and back buttons to copy and paste, that means you can copy and paste text super fast by just using your mouse. Now let's talk about music production. About 5-6 years ago, I used to make loads of beats, but now I don't have as much time. And one of the biggest benefits about this mouse for music production is the horizontal scrolling wheel. Because when it comes to music production, we end up with loads of horizontal content and this mouse just makes it easier for us to assess those contents. And by using the gesture button, I can easily undo and redo any mistakes that I made. Now let's talk about DaVinci Resolve. This is where the mouse performance disappointed me the most. The feature I was more excited about was the line by line mode, because I thought it would give me the ability to precisely change the values while color grading, but unfortunately it didn't, and it's very disappointing considering how much it cost. And in this example you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If I try to increase the value by 1, you can see that it never happens, it always goes to a random value which is not what I'm looking for. Now when it comes to programming, you can easily copy and paste text using the mouse, you can also use the free spinning mode to navigate super quickly through your code and if you make any mistakes, you can easily undo or redo. You can also use the horizontal scrolling wheel to check the horizontal contents of your code and all of this is done by just using your mouse, and that's very impressive. Now, there are other features worth mention about this mouse which I don't really use at the moment. The first one is the ability to easily switch between multiple devices by just pressing this single button. The second one is the Logitech Flow, which allows you to control two different computers with a single mouse. And on top of that, you can also copy and paste files between the two machines. Now, when it comes to the battery life, I have no complaints. I had this mouse for more than 7 months and I only put it to charge once, and it was 3 months ago. If you run out of battery, Logitech claims that you can get 3 hours of use from 1 minute of charge. But in any case, you can always use the mouse while it charges using the included USB-C cable. Now let's talk about some of the problems I had using this mouse. The problem number one, you already know, and it is the line by line mode. Unfortunately, it is not as precise as they claim, which means you are going to have a hard time doing tasks such as color grading. The problem number two is that whenever you turn off the mouse, the settings will reset back to default. For example, if you have the mouse set up for free spinning, when you turn it off and back on again, it will change to line by line, and this can be annoying sometimes. The problem number 3 is that when you turn on your computer for the first time, the Logitech option software sometimes doesn't recognize your mouse, and that means that every custom button that you assigned before will no longer work, and that's a big pain. Now, the problem number 4 is the horizontal scrolling wheel. Unfortunately, it doesn't perform as well as I thought it would. It's not accurate enough and sometimes I just don't use it at all. So, after using this mouse for 7 months, would I still buy it again? Well, the answer to this question is no, I will not buy this mouse again. The reason for that is pretty simple. This mouse costs a lot of money and one of its best features, which is the scrolling wheel, doesn't perform well. Then you have the software, which doesn't work well as well, and sometimes prevents you from taking full advantage of the custom buttons and some other minor issues which I talk about in this video. So if you're thinking about getting this mouse, you probably should think twice. Well, that's all for today guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you 
next time.